The SBA Management Board's direct dial numbers are revealed. Along with your local regional direct phone numbers, the ombudsman who can step in and help you get your EIDL grant and loan money, and all those incredible letters that LLA has been tipping about all week long, including this one from Kimberly Butler, are dropped below. Boy, can you hear that? Those are those EI, EIDL bombshells for the grant update for Thursday. This is LLA. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below. And you, we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. I'll be answering all 86 EIDL grant questions you had from yesterday's taping. Please hit that alarm button, that bell button on the front of this channel so you can alert when another bombshell is dropped. And we'll be giving you in a lot of details today. Um, and we'll, But first, let's get to a couple of your incredible questions questions. Kumba Naja, the people need a copy of that letter and write their senator with attached as proof that SBA didn't follow the law. That's the topic of the discussion. Stay with us shortly. Muja, I need to find, find the fallout shelter from all these bombshells happening daily. Yes, and if you are just tuning in at about 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 7 Eastern Standard Time, we dropped an EID alone bombshell about how to get those Experian hard credit polls dropped from your account, use those hard polls uh, removed, then submit that when you do your reconsideration for a loan that's denied based upon bad credit history history. Moreover, shocking details about Kimberly Butler, the person who denied you your grant money. We'll drop that into our links above. That EIDL loan story from earlier today, wow, you got to watch it. Paul Ryan, I just emailed my congressman in Indiana requesting the lender of the SBA and the head of the Weights, Ways and Means Department to be brought before Congress to answer their crimes. I also referenced your channel for him to do research if he does not already have information that you are providing. Thank you. I'm, I'm front and center for you. Anything you need me to do. Jim Laud, class action. New York Thrill applied April 2nd. No grant received loan portal yesterday. Hoping the next step comes quickly. I hope to sue. I do boo. Use my business bank account when I receive the portal. They sent me another email saying my bank account couldn't be verified. So I used my personal bank account and got approval and received the funds the next day. I love that. But did you receive your grant money? If you received any idea loan now, you need to do the following. Also, if you received any ideal loan offer but haven't accepted, you need to do the following. Call SBA and ask them, one, where's your grant money? Two, how much grant money are you going to receive? Three, how is it going to come? And the manner in which it's going to come. Exana Sirashak got the $1,000 grant, uh, got the portal loan offer, deposited the full loan amount, not $10,000 grant. Awful. Uh, Phil Morgan, new twist. My bank account was hit with a $39 charge by a credit company. Got the loan offer the next day. Has anyone seen this happen? Wow. So Phil Morgan, who's actually a topic of one of our videos, he said he was hit by a credit charge, uh, but got the loan offer. Um, a, com a comment by AWZ, your honorable Kimberly, have you lost your mind? <laughs> well, uh, Robert Henson, my favorite LA show. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Robert Henson. Ray Schneider, currently on the appeal process. Day two, wrote the Utah Senator. I love it. State Senator, how long does it take to get an answer on the appeal? Um, if you've done AEIDL loan reconsideration, please follow the following. One, you should get a response back that says, thank you, I got it. If you don't, you need to resubmit it because it, that is the, the indication that they received it. This has happened with some viewers that they submitted and they, they got no answer. Submit it again. Next, after you get the uh, submitted and they say, thank you, I got it, they will ask for additional documents. If they don't, you need to follow up with them because there's usually something wrong. Uh, uh, Moot G applied at end of, May, Mar end of March. Uh, received a $1,000 grant of the 10000 I feel like the EIDL program to visit the SBA is plagued by pure incompetence, retaliation, and they make up rules and ignoring the law. Absolutely well said. Christina Morales. Uh, so if they were advised by the White House that they should that they should be able to fund again to make payments to the first 2 million applicants of the $10,000 grant advance. The CARES Act was the law. Imagine if one of us decided to interpret a law in a different way than we choose. Very well said. What she's referring to is that Kimberly... Uh, 
that Kimberly Butler letter, which I'm going to get to in a second. I mean, it is just shocking. Uh, Lady Jane applied May, March 15, received nothing, credit check. So if you didn't get the loan or grant due to their negligence and promised to $10,000, can you remove the derogatory information from your credit report since it's under false pretense and expect to receive a loan? Yes. Uh, click our link above for the EIDL loan story that went live a few hours earlier today. It's about removing those hard pulls on your credit check. Well, Walter Stillwagon, I love it. Hey, I love watching your videos there every day. Everyone has made a great name for the small business. Everyone has, uh, it should be really stand for the smooth, super black hole administration. Uh, Alicia Hilton, good loan, got loan portal offer today. Click the link, but I finished filling out, kicked me out into denial and was hit by my credit by 61 points. Called to get help and they hung up. Awful. All she's getting is hang ups, a 61 point drop and an EIDL loan denial. Awful. Watch our video today about the loan. Uh, we got getting those hits removed. H2O. Um, they sh there should be a reason for multiple polls. There is no reason. Only Memmi. Um, oh, we answered her only Memmi on our loan story today. Jose Perez, I got an offer for $1,000 loan. I was recently disappointed. Your thoughts? Should I call and ask, ask for one th more than $1,000? I don't think $1,000 is going to do anything. Yes, we had a video about this. Um, actually, two videos about this. One about, it's in the title, Negotiate for a Higher Loan Amount. Look at some of the links above in the playlist. Um, yes. And moreover, some v viewers said that they were offered $1,000 and that SBA said it was a glitch. Um, so absolutely call SBA. Um, Manuel Cake Daddy. Hey, like, FYI, I received the loan and grant the same day last week. Also, I was part of the, five, the 330 Vortex. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Makeup Man uh, Mova. So if they aren't going to give the $10,000 ever, at least give the $1,000 to everyone that did include themselves as an employee. Um, they pull business and personal credit for most of us, only to give us $1,000 and drop our, low, our scores. Very well said, Makeup. Uh, John Russell. If all these three letters I filed with con congressional with my senator. I sent those three letters. Oh, I ha okay. Cruz Juan, love, love, love you, LLA. Yes, yeah, send a letter. I'm ready to sign something. SBA is picking and choosing who makes who, <laughs> who it has to file bankruptcy on. This is absolutely the most crazy situation I've ever heard of. A witness just wrong. Robert Henson, give him likes. Yes, and please watch this video to the very end. There are bombshells, as Robert Henson wants you to give me likes or give the channel likes, but watch the video to the end. Uh, Jackie Gilbert, Jackie Gilbert. LA, hey, LA, love your channel. You're the best at helping people. Thank you. SBA sent an email requesting four years of tax returns is also requesting a letter of credit of credit issues ex explanation oh i love that i was never declined for credit reasons only unverifiable information uh now patiently waiting for an update so as we detail in our reconsideration videos there are three of them they can deny you for unverifiable information and then turn around and deny you for uh, for bad credit so be ready for it jackie uh adam nedela Finally signed my closing documents, got the portal invite the last week. I wrote a reconsideration and then denied it. They, I wrote a reconsideration email and they were hung up on the criminal background I have. And they were hung, oh, they were hung up on the criminal back. I asked, he asked me a couple questions, provided some documents, and they approved me. I signed the documents waiting for funds. Thank you, LA, for all your videos. So he was denied. He said they were hung up on his criminal history. He did a reconsideration. Uh, and he was approved. And this is uh, eight minutes into this recording. Our first EIDL reconsideration approval. He won it. Wow. S Cloud Cleaning Services. Yes, sir, we received an offer for the loan. We received both at the same time. Signed the document. Samuel, Samuel Lombardo. Is there any email or phone number for the mysterious Kimberly so I can ask who, who gave you a permission to change the rules and regulations of the CARE Act? There is, and you need to stay with us because we're going to drop it in with shortly. She needs to do some explaining. Beauty Babe, uh, Florida and Texas have $35,000 of loans approved. Meantime, my state is over, has over $12,000. How? Look at the data. Roos Randall, up to, on credit checks. I have an Experian web membership. It shows two hits. Awful. Click our video today from the EIDL loan about removing those double hits. Ernie Terrell, they didn't give a chance to ask how um, for the amount of money in the streamlined application. Very well said. Fit Fem. My husband and I have an individual business, both flight April 5th. We never received the grant, got our denial letter. Uh, economic injury is not substantiated. S uh, high credit scores 693, 740. Our credit was never pulled, nothing. I hope this is helpful to someone else. I would do a reconsideration. Um, Fit Fem, I would do it. Dennis Markovitz. I was sent to the portal invited to receive a grant. Uh, 
I was told they were backlog. How long does this take? I would call SBA, don't wait around, MCW, MCB, EIDL, none of this $1,000 junk. Case in point, if SBA approved for you for a $30,000 loan, the first $10,000 should be a grant and the $20,000 loan. This is so simple, very well said, I love that. Roy White, um, this loan advance will ha not have to be repaid. Oh, he's quoting, he's quoting the, t the, the language, yes, we all know the language. La Cordia. Um, either they will or they won't. It just makes sense. It doesn't make sense how our government do their people, yet they need the people. I hope all the curving, the tweaking was worth it because a cry, the people are crying out and all kind of pain is the one that moves God. God is the vindication. William Mickelson, you can request up to $10,000, but they get to not decide how much you will get up you will get up to requested amount, according to SBA. Yes, absolutely horrible. And here's the letter. Uh, Ernie Terrell, a copy of the documents you, you can share so you can follow my center. I will take it. ads in newspapers. Absolutely. You can put my face on the, in the ads. Just ask for permission first. <laughs> uh, Ernie Terrell, I had a score of only eight, and after the poll, I got a two. <laughs> Zunuku K, I got denied an application, applied at April 331, no grant. When I called them, said they won't be getting my grant as long as I deny for the loan. Dropped 26 points, got nothing out of this whole process. No grant, no loan, but a 26-point drop. Watch our AIDL loan video about to, today about getting that removed. Jamie Jeffords, applied for three, got an invite to the portal, didn't get grant yet. Called SBA, said, where the grant? He said, it's tied to the loan. Yep. Um, no, you need very more clarity. Call back and ask for more clarity. Ask the questions I said for you to ask. That's not enough. Can you get an EIDL loan increase? Yes. Bruce Randall, um, credit grant update. I got a loan approval for 34000 Out of the blue, a $1,000 grant showed up in my account. The loan has not shown up. Um, now I owe a $34,000, loan for 30 years. Doesn't make sense. This is the definition of government threat, theft. Keep up the good work. Wow. So let's get to the bombshells right now. Um, first of all, let's go over this. Uh, you, as the viewer, have watched our EIDL grant videos and loan videos um, daily. The loans are going up about 2, about 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and the, and the grants are going up about 7 p Pacific Standard Time. In the last three days, we've talked about a lot of letters, and you have asked for those letters to be dropped in, in one core. So we're going to do it. We're going to drop them in the link in this video below or in the comments as a, as a sticky uh, as uh, so you can get those documents. These are documents that we have detailed that were written by members of Congress in the first few weeks after EIDL grant went live, and they got wind from some constituents that SBA was digressing and not following the CARES Act. The letters, I believe there are three of them that will be in the link below, are different dates from d different offices. Uh, some One was an individual congressman, some, uh, some of the letters are from multiple congressmen, and it's two SBA, and they are sensibly all saying the same thing. They're saying, one, under the CARES Act, you were the applicant could request it up to $10,000. Two, if the applicant requests $10,000, you are to pay $10,000. It is the applicant's discretion, not the SBA's discretion to determine how much you get for the grant. Three, you have to pay it within three days. Those were the big three issues that all those letters said. So we're dropping them in the comments below. Here is also one of the letters we are dropping in the comments below. This is the biggie, the big one. This is the April 7th, 2020 letter from Kim, the Honorable Kimberly S. Butler, Director of Office of Grants, um, who basically wrote a letter to her CFO, Tammy Parello, um, saying that, you know what, who cares about the CARES Act? We're not going to follow the CARES Act. We're going to pay $1,000 per employee. I mean, this is a letter written around the same time that that office, is, the SBA, is receiving letters from Congress saying, how dare you? You have no authority to do that. You are not following the law. Um, so I want you to download, I want you to get a copy of that letter as well. It will be in the set, in the package set. Now, we're also going to link. Uh, it is not our. It is not our document. It is a public document. It is it is available online. It is published by the federal government. It is a public domain. So I don't want to hear any complaints about the document. <laughs> you can type into Google and you can see it's published by the federal government. Here it is. We're going to provide you a link in the in the video below. This is a document that has 
phone numbers of every member of the SBA management board. Now, the only one that's wrong, or the name on it is clearly wrong, is the administrator. At the time, it was Linda McMahon of WWE. It's no longer her. Um, but the phone numbers are listed here. In there are phone numbers for many of the people that we have talked about on this channel in the last few days. You can decide who the, I'm referring to. Um, the Now, what's important, as I've indicated to you, is when you applied for an EIDL grant and a loan, they are processed. We don't know how they are processed, but we assume that they are processed in a regional manner. Uh, and so you need to know what is the closest major city of SBA branch offices that handles, that could have handled your application. So I'm going to jump I'm going to tell you to refer to page four of this document, which is the links below. There is a phone number for Boston, Wendell Davis. There's a phone number for New York's regional administrator. These are regional administrators of SBA. Uh, New York, Stephen Bulger, Philadelphia's manager, Michelle Christian, Atlanta, Ashley Bell, Chicago, Robert Lee Scott, Dallas, Dorothy Overall, uh, Kansas City, Thomas Salisbury, Denver, Daniel Nor Norberg, Los Angeles, Michael Valente, and Seattle, Michael Jeremy Field. These are uh, people who, as of 2018, were publicly disclosed as the regional administrators of the EIDL grant and a loan for SBA in your region. So these are people that you may wish to reach out to. Next, there's an office, na Office of the National Ombudsman and Assistant Administrator for Regulatory Enforcement and Fairness. If you don't think you are treated fair, maybe this is the office you should be calling. Um, <laughs> it's just vacant. Yeah, I I'm not making this up. <laughs> If you want to reach out to someone to get to discuss whether you're treated fake, uh, fairly or not, good luck because the office was vacant at that time. Um, but the deputy ombudsman, the, the head was was vacant. The national ombudsman was vacant, but the deputy uh, ombudsman was available at that time. Na Na Natalie Duncan. However, the uh, phone number is the same for both her and who would have been the national person. And it's on the first, fifth floor, so I guess they have offices next to each other. Um, this is a document you sh you need to look at. Now, um, if some of you don't like e if you don't some of you don't like telephone, and I'm sure you're exhausted from calling them SBA, you know, five thousand times, and you want email addresses, I encourage you if you see someone's name on this list or are cons or have want to send an email to someone that this channel has talked about uh, in the last few days, I will indicate to you that if you go into Google and type that person's name and type in the letters SBA as one word, you will see in the, res in the, in the search results on google.com immediately email addresses. These are publicly disclosed email addresses. These are not private email addresses. They are a pub they're on public documents. So if you personally want to write a letter to one of these people rather than get them on the phone, you could do so as well. Um, this might, but ultimately, it is your determination whether you want to contact these people. And when you do, you need to act professional and respect and, and give them the, the evidence. Now, lastly, if you have been communicating with your senator or House of Representative and, and want to tee them in as to how you were treated, it might help your contention by saying, hey, I also wrote or called my regional SBA person on this day or contacted this person at SBA, you know, whoever you want to choose, and, and was told this or got no response. It's just sort of more evidence as to the mishandling of the situation. Boy. And if you want more documents, contact information, email addresses, database things, um, you know, it, it took us all of 10 seconds to get this document for you. We can get those for you as well. Do you hear that? We can always drop more bombshells for you. So let's get back, back to the comments. Eileen Benningham. I got the portal and still processing May 25th. Should I be worried? Yes. Call SBA. Um, Gidget Red. SBA called a lot of people to go under. Absolutely true. Blake Austin. Experian down 35 points. Watch our loan video today. Robert Chat. Update today. On my appeal for EIDL, they were aggressive banking information and a canceled check. Um, and they went some more stuff. Great. I love that. All this was in my original appeal. Well, that's okay. I sent to my advocate. 
I wrote a nasty email, include the original correspondence for every piece of email. It's a shame they were so incompetent. Don't be nasty. Uh, Tom Moore. Hey, I love watching your video about the EIDL terms and conditions. Yes. If you've not watched the EIDL terms and conditions and you have a loan or are thinking of getting a loan, please watch the video. We'll drop it in the links above. Um, I wasn't sure, though. Do you have to buy insurance only for loans over $25,000? No. You have to have that insurance for all EIDL loans. Also, does the SBA require the insurance on all loans? Yes. Please help. I called SBA three times, got three different answers. No. I mean, read the document. The collateral issue only is triggered for loans uh, for one part of – let me back up. The terms and conditions says that the, the $25,000 threshold only concerns collateral issues. The only time you see that t come up is regarding collateral. It comes up with no other issue. So don't think that that is triggering other issues. Uh, Tom Moore. Oh, what I just said there, Kevin, uh, Kevin McCoy. If, is anyone interested in raising the, in in the raises that the politicians put in for the stimulus? Uh, <laughs> watch our video today about EIDL loan and learn how much Kimberly uh, Butler got for denying your EIDL grants. Hint: she got a bonus. Um, Ricardo Hall, LA for president. James Hickerson, post the letters, please. They are posted. Ah, boy. It has been such a day. Please watch the EIDL loan video from today. Please watch. Um, please stay with us. And if you are going through the EIDL loan reconsideration process, please tell us what's happening. If you're still waiting for the loan document, please tell us what's happening. Drop your comments below. It's through this that we learn more information. Um, it has been. It has been just a, a wild couple of days. Uh, thank you for staying with us. This story is far from over. As always, stay with LA for more. Thank you.